Hi guys, this is Ashley from T is Company One and I'm back with another reading. This reading is a subscriber's request and it's going to be on Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, and Nicki Minaj to see if they have any sort of um, friendship, I guess. Um, we're going to see if there's still some sort of um, issue between Travis and Nicki because um, in 2018 she basically went on a rant because her album came in to number two and it was supposed to be number one but Travis was selling clothes which counted as album sales um so we're gonna see what's going on between these three people before we do anything um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Follow T's Company One. And this reading is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Okay? So I already picked out a few cards. And the first card that I am getting is the High Priestess, which is Nikki. And basically, sorry guys, I got my mask on. Um, basically, Nikki still thinks about this situation. Um, I see that Nikki is not necessarily upset at Travis because, like I said, there's a lot of people in the behind the scenes that are working against Nikki. So she's not necessarily, I would say, still upset at Travis. She's just, um, she really wanted the album to go number one. I see that she feels like Queen was one of her best um, albums to date. And she feels like, um, you know, it wasn't necessarily an L, but she feels like it was a, a missed opportunity to tell like the haters, like, see, I got number one. And even though she still sold, I think about 180,000 copies first week, she feels like she needed that number one to really prove to people that she's still the queen okay because numbers count a lot nowadays even though when you're talented numbers don't matter to labels to people on social media it matters so she felt like she needed that number one to really tell the haters like suck it you know what i'm saying she feels like it was a missed opportunity she does think about the situation but she's not necessarily um, upset at Travis about um, him selling the clothes to get album sales and using Kylie and Stormy to get the album sales. She's not necessarily upset at him for it. She's just upset at the principle behind it. Like, you know, I wasn't able to get away with something like that. I wasn't able to sell um, cl um, clothes to get um more sales my bundles didn't count his did so she feels like you know it's just a missed opportunity the four of pentacles so what i'm getting from this card is um i see that she is in a more forgiving mood i'm also seeing that she's not she doesn't really hold anything against kylie I feel like she feels like, you know, Kylie had to ride for the person she was in a relationship with. So she's not necessarily upset at Kylie or Stormy. Um, she just feels like, you know, she was jipped. You know, it, the game, the rules didn't apply to her. So she she's not upset at Kylie. I don't see that she has any animosity against the Kardashians. I also see that she has spoken to possibly probably Kanye because she's she has a relationship with Kanye I see that she has spoken to Travis and Kanye about the situation and explained to them that you know she's not um trying to be I guess mean or hateful she's just upset at the cards that she's dealt with because she knows that a lot of people behind the scenes are working against her so I don't see she has any animosity towards um Kylie and Stormy for obvious reasons. Okay, the Tempest card. So Nikki is planning to do obviously another album and she's trying to be strategic. She's trying to be strategic 
and time will tell what will happen. I do believe she will get her next album will go number one. That's just what I think. Um, but I think um, she's planning, she's being strategic about how she wants to play out the next album. Um, I do see that she may not take the bundles route because it didn't work the first time. Um, so she may not do the bundles route. She might try to do something else. You know, like I see she might try to sell other things with the album, but it definitely won't be clothing. Okay, she might she might try to do something else. The Ten of Wands. So what I'm getting from this card is that um, Travis um, does feel bad about the situation. I feel like Travis knew that he shouldn't have went number one. He actually does feel really bad about um, Nikki not getting a number one. He feels like um, he was put in the middle of something that he really wasn't a part of like or he didn't want to be a part of he feels like this is actually between her and billboard or or her and the people working behind the scenes but she um he actually does feel bad that you know he took the number one away from nikki three of pentacles so what I'm getting from this card is that um, she may be working. You may see them on a song together in the future. I do see that they could have been working on music. I know that they have the same manager now. So what I'm seeing here is that they could be working on music in the future. I would say one or two songs, nothing more than that. But I do see that they will be working with each other. Okay, so then we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is basically Kylie. And Kylie, um, she has talked to, I think, maybe her sister, Kim. Because Kim is uh, married to Kanye. I, I see that she probably talked to Kim about the situation probably back in 2018. Um, but I'm seeing here that um, Kylie really didn't care. Um, that Nikki mentioned her. She has nothing against Nikki. I see that she listens to Nikki's music. She likes Nikki. She's a big fan of Nikki. Um, I'm seeing that. Um, I'm getting that. Kylie probably mentioned it to Chris or Kim that like she hopes that you know her and Nikki doesn't doesn't have a problem. That they didn't have a problem. Um, I'm seeing that Kim probably asked Kanye about it um and Kanye and Nikki had a conversation I'm also seeing that Travis probably had a conversation with Nikki behind the scenes um letting him, letting her know that he really had nothing to do with anything um I'm also seeing that Kanye probably talked to Nikki because I think Nikki and Kanye have um a friendship you know may not be besties but they have um a friendship they do talk to each other The Ten of Pentacles. So I'm seeing that from what I'm getting from this card is that um Ivory, what's what's it what's um Travis Scott and Nikki's manage manager name? Ivory, Irving, whatever his name is. Um she actually talked to him about this situation too. And I'm seeing that he gave her um good advice of what they can do the next go round to avoid the situation. So they're already planned what they're gonna do for the next album to avoid, um, I guess, certain sales not being counted. I don't think she'll go the bundle route because that's the easiest way for your sales not to be counted. They did the same thing with 6 9 And you know, the Barb's do buy a lot of um, music at one time. So they're coming up with a strategic plan. I'm also seeing that she kind of um, admires how the manager, whatever his name is, he was very strategic with Travis and how he rides for his artists. So she feels like Irene, Irvin, whatever his name is, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
he's a good manager. She really admires how he handled the situation, even though he did put out negative press um, about her afterwards for going at Travis. She feels like it was more of him pay, playing chess and not checkers. Like he was like checkmate. Basically, he was playing chess. Like he was like, oh, you're going to talk about my artist? I'm going to do this. So she kind of admires um, what he did for Travis. Like kind of like, okay, you're not going to be coming at my artist. I also see that he does um, talk to a lot of the press behind the scenes. Um, so that way Nikki doesn't get any negative press. And I do notice a difference. Like it used to be really negative. Um, like Nikki used to get a lot of negative press. I don't see that anymore. So I see that he's been working behind the scenes, talking to certain blogs, talking to certain article journalists, um, certain people that would always say something negative about Nikki. He's talked to them behind the scenes. The Knight of Pentacles, okay? So this is in reverse. I've, I'm have i getting, from what I'm getting is um, people, probably other people in the industry have probably said negative things about Nikki to Travis. Um, I don't think Travis really cares for the gossip, but I'm seeing that people have come to Travis like other artists have probably said very negative things about, Tra um, about Nikki to Travis. So that's what I'm, and probably mostly males. You know, there's a lot of rapper, male rappers that are extremely jealous of Nikki. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting from this card is that um, Nikki is trying to plan, like I said before, um, how to st strategically put out the album and not have the numbers being fudged. So she's trying to strategically plan for that. I don't think that's what's holding up the album. I think it it's a it's a consumption of multiple things. Like I think her getting pregnant obviously hindered the album from coming out. I think Kenneth hinders the album from coming out because when you put out an album, you're gonna want to tour. COVID hindered the album from coming out. So I think it's multiple things. But she's strategically planning how to avoid um, what happened with Queen, okay? She wants bigger and better promotion. That's why in the last ring I did for um, Nikki's fifth album, I said that she wants more money for promotion. That's what the money she wants it for. She wants more money for promotion because she really wants the next album to be like, you know, her best yeah, you know, she wants it to be bigger than um, Pink Print. She wants to have the big, big features. She wants it to be top notch. Ten of Swords. Okay, from what I'm getting from this card, Nikki still doesn't trust um, Travis. She feels like she will, they will never like be friends. She doesn't trust Travis. She thinks that he um, tends to play dumb. She, I, what I'm getting here is that Nikki feels like Travis tends to play dumb. Like he doesn't, he pretends like he don't know what's going on. Cause I think he, what he told her is that he had no idea that he was going to be number one. So what I'm getting is she feels like he pretends like he doesn't know what's going on behind the scenes. Nine of wands. So what I'm getting from this card is that Kylie kind of was watching from the outside looking in. And she really doesn't want to have any problems with Nikki. She's actually a big fan of Nikki. I'm also seeing that um, Kylie, um, she doesn't, she knows that Travis not necessarily, I would say used her for getting more album sales, but she knows it was beneficial for her name to be attached to Travis so that her fans can buy the album. So she knows that. Um, and she's she's okay with it because, you know, the money obviously goes to Stormy. Um, if Stormy is well taken care of, that's all that really matters. But she does not want to beef with Nikki. I'm seeing that she doesn't have any issues with Nikki. 
Ace of Wands. So what I'm getting from this card is that um, their manager, Travis and Nikki's manager or management company, whatever it is, they told um, them that they should collaborate. So I'm seeing that it was a middleman, um, you know, Irene Irvin, whatever his name is. He told Nikki that she should collaborate with Travis, you know, and that people would think like, oh, the beef is squared away. I don't think people necessarily care in 2020. Um, if she had did this back in 2019, like early 2019, I think it definitely people would be more tuned in. Now, I'm not saying that the song won't do well. I'm just saying that people don't really care if they're beefing or not anymore because it's already been like two years. Okay, so the Justice card. So basically what I'm getting from this card is that Nikki feels like if uh, Travis does know um like what was going on behind the scenes of people fudging the numbers and having her bundles not count and his counting she feels like he should get um payback for that now she has no evidence but she feels like if this is true he will receive his karma okay so that was the last card for travis kylie and nikki um, basically, Kylie doesn't want any issues with Nikki. She wasn't really too upset about her mentioning Stormy um, because um, it was more, she feels like, you know, it's more of Travis's issue and that um, she understood what Nikki was trying to say. But, you know, she has to write out for her man at the time. Anyway like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on post notification i will see you next reading and this reading was strictly for entertainment purposes only have a great day